Praise the Lord, brethren. My name is Pastor Nicholas Wambede, and by the grace of God, I serve with the Livingstone International University as the university chaplain, and I'm also the pastor of Community Christian Church Mbale. I want to thank God for all of you and for Scripture Union Uganda, which has made me what I am. I am an alumni of SU. I received Jesus Christ while in Scripture Union in senior two, and since then I have walked with God, and by His grace we are still walking with God. Uh, today I'm privileged to share with you on the topic hiding in Christ concerning how we can hide ourselves in Christ. Now, most of you are familiar with what hide means or hiding means. Uh, something that may not be seen, it could be referred to as hidden. And for this matter, the Bible uh, requires us to hide in Christ. And when we read Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. The Bible says, For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Now, what does hiding with Christ in God mean? In this context, it means that your true self should no longer be but the likeness of Christ is what should be. And when people see you, they should be able not to see you, but to be able to see Christ in you. That means you are hidden in Christ. Paul encourages us in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, where he says, I no longer live. That means that you, you, your true self has been hidden. Because if you are not in Christ, your life is and sinful nature is exposed to a holy God. And God is not pleased with our sinful nature. And we hide in Christ so that when God looks at us, he does not necessarily look at our sinful nature, but because we have believed in Christ, he sees the righteousness of his son in us. Now, how can a person be truly hidden in Christ? One, a person can only be hidden with Christ in God if he has accepted Jesus Christ as his or her Lord and Savior. Uh, apart from that, all his or her sins are exposed to a holy God, and that attracts the wrath of God. But because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your life becomes hidden in Christ. That is the very first step for a person to be hidden in Christ. But uh, in doing that, we have to be aware that there is nothing we as humans can do to hide away from God. The Bible tells us, that uh, all our life is exposed and there's nothing that can, can be hidden from God when you read Psalms 69 verse 5 and Luke chapter 12 verse 2. But when you are in Christ, God does not see you. He sees his son in you. And uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says, God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So we are declared or made righteous with God before God because of believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Secondly, I, we, we encourage each other the Bible tells us, put to death the acts of the flesh. And when you are to do that, 
It means that Christ works in you when you are hidden in him to avoid and overlook the things that would expose you out, expose your sinful nature to God. But God, uh, Christ covers our sins and takes them away and he allows you to live a life which glorifies God, not the life which glorifies the devil. And thirdly, we are asked in Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 to close ourselves with the new nature. Now, the acts of the flesh we talked about, which the Bible says put to death in Colossians chapter 3 verse 5, are very clear. The Bible tells us in verse 5 that therefore consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. And he goes on to uh, mention some of those things which you should avoid even in verse 8. But in verse 12, he says, clothe yourselves with the new nature. What is that new nature? That's the nature of Christ-likeness in us. That is his nature. And uh, some of the manifestations of the nature of Christ are mentioned in verse 12 of Colossians chapter 3, which are compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, forgiveness, and love. Now, we have seen that if we are to hide ourselves in Christ, we must be believers. We must believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And two, we must put to death the acts of the flesh. And three, we must clothe ourselves with the new nature of Christ in us. Now, that cuts across all our entire life. In everything we do, whatever we say, how we behave, how we conduct ourselves in different uh, places is part of we are supposed to hide in Christ and everyone else everywhere. When they look at us, they don't necessarily see us, but they see the nature of Christ in us. That's why Christ calls us to be like him. As I conclude, I want to finish with uh, verse 17 of chapter 3 of the book of Colossians, which says, Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. One way, if you are hidden in Christ, that means everything that you'll be doing or uh, you'll be participating in or whatever you'll be saying, you'll all do everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to implore you to accept Jesus Christ if you have not, but if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to implore you to, to, to hide your life in Christ, put to death the desires of the flesh, and clothe yourself with the new nature which is in Christ. And as you live your life, may you do everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you.